Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jelsey the Four, and today we're going to be talking about the Thursday, Thursday night game, and it's going to be between the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins. And I do have my opinions about this game. And by the way, I'm a Giants fan, so yeah, I'm not going to be biased. I'm actually going to talk about both sides. Maybe I'll mention some of the Giants' flaws and you know about the Redskins' flaws too. So you know, it's going to be a balanced review or thoughts you know so i won't be like one-sided you know saying that uh you know my new york giants are the best blah blah no i know my team's weaknesses i mean i'll tell you guys right now so new york giants versus washington redskins who's gonna win tonight for sure this video will be uploaded by the time it is on halftime i don't know when this video will be uploaded uh what time but um it's probably like around 8 p.m anyways my opinion about this game is that the, the new york giants might actually win might I think it's like a 42% chance and then the other percentage is pretty much the Washington Redskins. But I believe in my New York Giants. I'll tell you why. Rashad Jennings is on fire. 176 yards in the previous game. He pretty much set the tone and it's pretty much on fire. I mean, he's not, he's not going to stop. When he starts, he's not going to stop. Just like last year when he was with the, Reds, with the, not with the Redskins, with the Raiders. He was doing a hell of a job and he kept on going and going. He's the guy's a pretty much consistent guy. So we're gonna expect a lot from Rashad Jennings and from, from Eli Manning. The guy is just popping flies. I mean he's like Brett Favre right now. He's done. Like I do believe in Eli Manning and all, but I believe that also, you know, his time is coming to an end. But I, I still believe him. Like for the whole season I, I want him to start. But he has to look at his retirement like papers because I don't think he's going to be any good next year. I mean, I like the guy. I, I like the guy since 2004. I liked him when I started my Super Bowls, you know, and, and back in 2007 and 2011. He was my, my number two all-time best quarterback. I like the guy. It's just that maybe his time is up, but not this year. Just give him one more year with him, and he'll do good. So the thing about Eli this year is that he's just throwing in miracles. I mean, you guys saw the last game. He threw it to the tight end blindly. Like, the tight end didn't even know what the ball was coming. He just extended his hands and caught it in front of a defensive back who was in his inside shoulder. How is that possible, man? <laughs> so, Eli Manning, I don't know. He's just going to wish for miracles. While Victor Cruz and Larry O'Donnell, the, the rookie tight end, um, I expect a lot from the rookie tight end this game. For sure, he's going to step up. Um, as much as like now Spa is doing on the Washington Redskins. Now moving on to the Washington Redskins, Deshaun Jackson might not play. That's what I've been seeing in NFL.com here, here and there, and Twitter also. Uh, for sure, he's gonna be active, I believe. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with Deshaun Jackson, but he's. I think he's gonna play. I just check Twitter right now. But anyways, the Washington Redskins have switched over from RG3 to over to Kirk Cousins, which is a good idea. Kirk Cousins is actually doing pretty good. Not gonna lie, he's doing. A hell of a job better than uh, RG3. RG3 can't even design on the defense. Like, he, he doesn't read him. That's what I've been noticing. RG3 sucks, man. RG3 does suck and read, but he's an actual, you know, good play action guy. But it's just that uh, he doesn't know how to read coverages. He doesn't know. That's the truth. So, good thing they went with Kirk Cousins and uh, what I expect from the Redskins to do. Pretty much Niles Paul. I mean, Niles Paul has been stepping up for the past two weeks. The guy's going to throw himself out there. I believe he's gonna burn a bunch of the linebackers that the New York Giants have because the New York Giants have the New York Giants linebackers are not stepping up. They're pretty much sleepers. Like they're just there just to be there. Um, so I uh, for sure I'm gonna see like around 280 yards thrown by Kirk Cousins. They're gonna somehow stop him. I know my New York Giants have a good secondary with Prince Amu Kamara and Dominic Rogers Kamari. It's just that I believe you know Kirk Cousins is gonna do some kind of damage, but not that much. I believe they're gonna go mostly run game because the Giants don't have a good run stopping defense at times. So, anyways, that's my opinion, guys, and I believe the final score of this game will be 14 to 6. Washington Redskins will only be kicking two field goals while the New York Giants score two touchdowns with Rashad Jennings. Or maybe one with the tight end. Victor Cruz will have no touchdowns, and uh, Eli Manning will have one touchdown with uh, 282 yards, or maybe even less, I believe. I don't know, but I, I think the New York Giants might win. If I was on the Washington Redskins side, I know Washington Redskins fans will be saying like, "Oh, I believe the Washington Redskins will win, like 28 or 14, because the Giants suck." I mean, I, I'm trying to look this both ways. I mean, the Giants do have a lot of flaws, but at the same time, they're pulling in miracles, man. How the hell did they win the last game against the Texans? Hell of a thing that's going on here, man. My Giants, if there are a lot of, there's a lot of miracles going on right now. 
nothing's gonna stop them. I mean, you gotta see the Super Bowl that they played in 2007. If miracles happen, there's no way this team's gonna be stopped. So I believe in my New York Giants, and hopefully they win. Uh, I'm, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> I don't want Eli Manning to mess up again with throwing in like five interceptions. So, yeah. Anyways, subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to hear more opinions about the NFL games, and um, if you guys want to see more Madden Ultimate Team.